welcome to Juice in the Media. Media, media, media. media. Juice in the media? Yes, Juice in the Media. I thought it was Jews in the media. No, no, it's Juice it's... in the Media. Oh, I got it wrong this whole like, time. Like, you know, when you're like, <laughs> you've got some media and you spill your juice in it? That's us. We are Juice in the Media. Oh. Gross. Uh, <laughs> actually, I, rem- <laughs> <laughs> I, I, heard, I, heard a fu- I heard a funny joke, uh, uh, not necessarily a funny joke today. Uh, what do you get when you uh, squeeze a uh, synagogue? Because there's 28 of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> All oh, right. Hey, so no, what are we gonna different talk? different joke. <laughs> uh, no, seriously. <laughs> what, what do you get when you squeeze a uh, synagogue? Um, something, something delicious. I don't know. Juice. Juice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's the kind of juice that I that I I mean juice yeah juice, juice, juice. cool nice cold <laughs> glass of juice it's probably warm they put it in the fridge oh yeah so it's it like, doesn't spoil it's like orange juice orange juice. <laughs> <laughs> if, uh, if 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 Trump were Jewish would he be orange juice <laughs> uh. Probably. But I'm fine. All right. Um, <laughs> so what's going on? <laughs> Not too much, but, uh, man. It's been, a, it's been a week. Sorry, I decided it's to. It's been quite a week. After we start the show, it would be a good time to pour some w- no, water. No, it's. It, 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 when I hear that, like, you hear that on some of these shows, and you see it, you see it on, like, Family Guy and shows like that, <laughs> where they, uh, you know, they'll be imitating, like, like uh, talk radio and this nice calm voice and you know you hear somebody pouring a glass of tea in the background well you know what um, I, I was listening to the joe rogan uh podcast the joe rogan experience and uh does it take place in a in a uh sensory deprivation chamber yes I know yes it big, does i think uh, he does, does it really no and uh, but i know he you, you know you've heard of that right yes i haven't he's into that, that or uh, he's done yeah. that or whatever Seems but uh like to try you, you you can hear him. I, I don't know what the hell he's drinking. It could be water. It could be iced tea. I don't know. But you can hear like the ice cubes clinking. Every, yeah. You know? Like, you like a Coca-Cola it. commercial. Kind like of. A perfect. Yeah. Although for some reason, I, I don't know why I picture it as being iced tea. It could be whiskey. I have no idea. In my head, it's iced tea. But that could be because I want iced tea. Like peach iced tea? They don't have that in the States. They do. Do they really? I remember, but it was I all like we- no, no, because uh, uh, when, when when I was there last year, uh, I remember getting some, and it Peach was like nesty? it was these weird like like no no I'm micro talking about the sim- brew. No no, I'm talking about the simple nesty no. peach. I, I I I did not see it. They have the lemon flavor. Yes, they they do. have lemon, but the lemon is kind of gross. Uh, it's not really gross. I just don't. I, I, it's gross. I can have a small glass of it, but I wouldn't want a want a whole bottle, even even like the twenty ounce bottles, or whatever they those are. Um, no, um, no, but uh, other than like these like small no name, you know, like the things that I'd never heard of before. But no, just like regular nest tea in a bottle, with peach flavored, like we can get here. They did. I could not find. I have to and be I looked, somewhat. Honest. I wanted. I have to be somewhat honest. I partially made Aliyah for peach iced tea. Okay, that's not true, but it was really good. I wouldn't doubt that it is a little bit true. Like you probably see it at home. Like I got nothing else to do, and I'd like some iced tea. Uh, I'll fill out these forms. I'll fill out (laughs) these forms, and I'll get a free (laughs) plane ride to Israel so I can get some iced tea. (laughs) Uh, listen, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the truth is out. <laughs> and less less as much now, but uh ba- back in the day I used to chew a lot more gum and there was uh there's some really interesting and amazing gums here like the the blueberry. I like the I like the blueberry gum. There's blueberry there's gum, a, gum here. It's in the yellow package with the red oval kind of a red figure. package. Yeah, it's one of the must with uh, a yellow oval. Uh, yeah, something like that. Um, yes, I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, it is a. 
Now, back in the States, I know Bubblicious mm-hmm. uh, Blueberry, you know, Blueberry Bubblicious. Maybe it was Blueberry Hubba Bubba. I don't remember. Yeah, probably. One of them. I, I know they the were other. the two big uh, com- competitors for gum. Um, that and uh, Big League Chew. Did okay. you ever buy Big League Chew? I did buy Big League Chew. I did not try to pretend like I was uh, dipping with it, um, but I did. Um, I did chew Big League Chew. We used to bring it. To, we used, we used to bring it to. Uh, uh, Wait, no, I'm completely lying. I actually did do that when I was uh, when I was in softball. I did chew on it like uh, like one of the. I was just. Players. I was just gonna say we used to do the same thing when <laughs> when, I, when I when I played softball. <laughs> like you, Every, I, we everyone would s- bring the big league chew and we'd be sitting there yeah, chewing. Yeah, on yeah, it. yeah. We had the bl- bi- the actual big league chew. One one of the kids actually brought tobacco, like dip, like a bag of Red Chief. Um, but we used to keep it like in the waistband. The big league chew. I have no idea what we kept it in. Do not remember at all. I am remembering for you. No, you're not. Um, right. So anyway, what? Uh, wow. It's you know, been, uh, it's I, I I can't believe what happened last week. I I can't believe that uh, we recorded a show on the d- the day before oh, Thanksgiving. Oh yeah, what the fuck? And and we forgot to talk about Thanksgiving. I, that's that's. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry about that. There's no need to be sorry. No need to apologize. That was unacceptable, though. It was acceptable. It was perfectly fine. I just can't believe that we were dumb enough that, uh, yeah. you know, when we're sitting here trying to think of stuff to talk about, the the next day is, you know, Thanksgiving. Uh, didn't... Uh, it's just like fresh in our minds, too. There's no excuse. No. No, especially since, you know, like, I had just picked up a turkey that day. <laughs> You it know, was rotting was in your car. Have, was yes, yes, it was. It was, and in then my we bag, ate actually. it. It was it delicious. Was, it was one of the things that I keep hidden in my bag. Um, I didn't bring home any stuffing. I was talking about that. That's too bad because yeah, it's all gone. I'm throwing out a whole lot of it tomorrow. <laughs> I would have finished all of it. I tried Probably. to finish all of it. I made it's way just, too much. It's just like sitting down and and having a big. Big, big old bag of bread. <laughs> I made two giant trays of stuffing. <laughs> How many loaves two, of bread was it? And two, two, two. It was like one full loaf <laughs> of each one. Just chomping down two loaves of bread. <laughs> well, I, well I, they say it's I like a glass of Guinness. I, I had two trays of <laughs> two giant trays of stuffing, and then I had two smaller trays of uh, 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 sweet potatoes with with marshmallow. <laughs> okay. Okay. If you take into account. All that got eaten of each one, I was left with one full tray and more than half of the second tray for <laughs> each one of these items. So there were nice. so much leftovers, and there was plenty of turkey and the gravy too. Oh, there was lots of gravy left over. Yeah, the, gra- the gravy I, congealed nicely. I, yes, it did. <laughs> I was enjoying that gravy. A nice solid gelatin. It would take like four Blockage minutes to get it to melt <laughs> in the microwave. Uh, yeah, yeah. I would eat some of it and I would feel my heart go. <gasps> <laughs> you hear it bubble. <laughs> yeah. Try, trying to kickstart. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Um, oh, it was fun though. That was a lot of yeah, fun. Yeah, we had a good time. I uh, I wish we time. had it. We could have recorded the not, the shenanigans that was going on. Yeah, well, um, I think it would have been good to uh, listen to. Yeah. Well, or for other people to listen to, because I wouldn't have listened to it. I do not oh, listen to our podcast. If, if, huh? Do you listen to our podcast? Yeah, of course. Like I I, I don't mean like like you know like. You you check it for the sound quality or whatever you know. <laughs> Do you listen to our podcast? Um, who's? <laughs> I I have never listened to our podcast. Um, no, I have. I have. I have skipped through it a couple of times. I've listened to a couple of them, but so, I, like so I remember what we discussed. For something specific. And, and yeah, but I've yeah. never tried to set oh, da- yeah. sit down and listen to it. 
Um, I don't know that I have sat and listened to more than one all the way through. Um, but it, it was, it was, uh, I was at my friend's house and it was playing in the background. Um, and yeah, I wasn't really paying so much attention to it, but like I remembered, you know, what we were saying. Um, I don't remember what we were saying five seconds ago. <laughs> no, just kidding. Right. Do you? What is our next topic? What is our next topic? <laughs> that I know. Um, <laughs> no, no, no. Thanks, about, I don't remember. Thanksgiving was was awesome. That was that was fun. Um, yes, a good time was had by all. Yes. And I had, I I had that stomach ache that I haven't had in in years, and it was amazing. That I'm so full that my lungs won't work. L- yeah, like you can't take a deep breath. <laughs> There's just not enough room inside of your body. Um, I have had that every day since Thanksgiving, trying to get rid of leftovers. <laughs> oh no, it was it was because we had this really beautiful uh, dinner at work. Uh, it was awesome. I I did not expect it. Like serious catering, um, and then we had, but that was made by other people that that we didn't know. It was you know from a somebody cooks in their house. You know, massive, uh, massive dishes, and then we had uh, so it was the real cooked food, huh? Yeah, but it, they cater to businesses. You know what I'm talking about? Like to special events. It, it's not like a restaurant that you can go to. There is like a kitchen, uh, like a full on kitchen. They make you know big trays of stuff, and um, no, I got you catering. Yeah, uh, but it's not like like a like a restaurant or anything um so we we had that and it was and it was good um and then we had thanksgiving at your house and it was okay (laughs) um okay (laughs) no it was it was really good it was really good i um, two and a half fucking days is scrubbing and peeling and chopping and basting i spent Two hours. <laughs> I mean, it only took me fifteen minutes with the food, but I, I had, did all those things, you know, for myself. Um, actually, no, I, I, I had fun making my balls again. I haven't done that in a while. Fondling the balls. I fondled the, 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 the those balls. You know. You fondled your balls before you came to my house. <laughs> uh, why are you telling? Uh, why are you telling me and this? And then you, and then you ate them. Uh, extra I did. I did yep. I did ask you to put your balls on my plate. <laughs> yep. Yes. They all do. They all do. Yes. As a matter of fact, I do believe that you had your balls on everyone's plate at one everybody's time. Everybody's plate. Another. Um, oh yes. Your your balls were in everyone's mouth on their plates. Um <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yes. Yes. I and, and think pecan pie. I even think some of the kids might have had a taste of your balls. <laughs> so I forgot to bring the whipped cream for, for the your pie. balls. <laughs> oh. Uh-huh. Uh huh. <laughs> but I, um, but I made the 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 pie out of uh, biscuitim. Yeah, you shouldn't Instead have done of, that. Yeah, I mean, I had I had literally no other no other choice, um, because there were no pie tins. I was expecting there to be to be pie tins, and I checked at three different stores that I know would have them. Um, none Tiff of them Times, did. Tiff Times sometimes has them. They did not. Uh, Actually, Meatland no. I tried Renana five different places. Always has them, and they deliver. I. I could just like order one pie tin. Oh, I, one, I believe uh, so, but you're crust. gonna pay, but you're paying like a delivery fee. Um, yeah, I don't think there's a minimum actually on what you order. There's just a fee. There's, for the yeah, delivery? there's a delivery fee, and it depends on how much it is. Depends on how far you are in the country. So like, I, I suspect I could it's more. I suspect order it's more for a coke than if you ordered like a thousand dollars worth of food. Um, that's funny that you say dollars because they do sell so many American goods. I wonder if you could pay there in dollars. A lot of places you can pay in dollars, and I suspect in lots of places in Renana, especially. 
or in Rand because they are rampant with South Africans. <laughs> really? Yeah, there's a lot of uh, I have a lot of uh, friends, uh, South African friends with family in Renana. They call mm. it Renana Fontein. It's uh, like I've Blum, only heard of uh, Renana. It's very big. Um, yeah. Um, All but right. I am excited. I am excited for July. Really? Yes. Why? What's going know. on in July eighth? July eighth. Yeah, um, July eighth. Well, I guess on the eighth, I'll probably get up, um, cleanse myself to some degree. Remember that four days ago was the fourth of July. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, right. I missed that. Um. Yeah, I will miss the fireworks display. Probably. Um. Yeah. Sometimes the embassy has one. Do they really? They have in the past. Hmm. Maybe once. I, I don't know. Don't know if I ever knew that. They're going. They're undergoing a huge uh, renovation. I think. I heard they might be moving to Jerusalem. Yeah, but that's not that's not actually happening, is it? I don't think that's actually happening. Who knows? I wonder where they would move to if they would just move in where the where the consulate is. Probably near Independence Park. It's kind of a small complex, though. I think. But July eighth, July eighth. You know, the, although probably the only difference is that they'll probably call that the embassy, and then the one in Tel Aviv will be the consulate. That's probably the only thing that'll change. And the ambassador will work out of their fifty-one percent of the time, yeah. <laughs> as opposed to <laughs> it'll be there three and a half minutes longer than he in, is now, or something. In, in fucking actuality, it makes no difference. Does it really? I no. mean. No, I, I guess I guess it does to to say where they're headquartered. But like you look at you look at Washington D.C. There's so many so many um, embassies that are not in D.C. and like you know in Richmond or in Alexandria, you know in the in the surrounding cities. Is it not kind of the same thing? Like, no, not because because really. because it is sovereign territory. You know, you go you go to the U.S. embassy. You are technically on U.S. land. You were technically we want quote unquote look, in the United States. It's we want the but. embassy moved to Jerusalem because we want it. It's almost like a recognition that Jerusalem is the capital of Israel. Well, okay, it because is. I mean, well, it, it it is, but it is denied by some, and the fact that we do, and, and, and the fact that you know the United States and other countries don't have their embassies there. Uh, is a uh, an argument made by a lot of these people who deny. Uh, you know, Jerusalem being uh, uh, part of Israel, being our capital. So by doing that, you, you know, it, it is symbolic, but it is a recognition. It is an a public right. acknowledgement uh, of uh, Jerusalem as uh, Israel's capital. So it is an important That's thing. That's true. But it's sure as hell going to, you know, even as symbolic as it is and as meaningless as it is, because all it's going to be is like, a pl okay, this plaque says embassy and this one says... Uh, says um a consulate you know we're just going to yeah. switch them and that's going to be it you six know. and one have a dozen but that's... yet it it will call cause a lot of hoopla um yeah for it sure it will definitely be hooplaing sure. uh it will it will be very hooplesque <laughs> um uh but i i don't know i don't know is it um is it is it an antagonistic move or is there actually really any reason like it seems that it's not really necessary but it'll piss people off um that's we, we want it because, for well sure. i mean it's very antagonistic but, you know from from a point of view i i, I guess it really how antagonistic it is depends on your point of view. From an Israeli per sure. perspective, <laughs> we want the acknowledgement that, that that Jerusalem is our, our capital. But at the same time, it's also we, we I mean you have to know it's going to antagonize. It's going to cause vi uh, violence. There's going to be riots. There's going to be violence. It's going to come out of this. There's, That's there's right. no doubt about it. Exactly. For, you know, from the Palestinian standpoint, it's pure. Uh, 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 um, 
and, and, and antagonism. It's it's you know that that's antagonism. Antagonisticification. <laughs> but but is is the is the benefit to to Israel worth it right now? Like what, like pushing what what what, what, what benefit? What exactly will exactly? What is the gain? What is the gain that's so valuable that you'll that you'll like risk going to war? It's just like it's just like. Shoving him a little, well, just a little bit more. You know what it is with the Palestinians trying to cl- cl- claiming Jerusalem as their capital. Okay, it's it's a, it's a public ad- uh, uh, acknowledgement from the United States that Jerusalem is our capital, and whether or not we talk about splitting it or not, it's 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 already somewhat. It's an acknowledgement that it, it already is someone's capital. So I, I guess from from that point of view, it's like uh, um, a precedent has uh, is being set that this is our uh, uh, capital, and any claims uh, on it are secondary. I guess would be. One Do they way have a capital point. building in East Jerusalem? I have no idea what they have in East Jerusalem. Like what do they define do as we their have a capital? capital? What do we define as our capital building? Knesset. Wouldn't that just be Congress or the Parliament building? That's that's like the 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 mark of the capital. Okay, do they have a parliamentary building or, you know, the equivalent to a capital building? Well, they do have a parliamentary system, so I guess they have to have something. I think that's in Ramallah. Well, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I think that's Ramallah. So Ramallah is their capital. <laughs> As far as I'm I mean, concerned, I mean, you, you just, 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 just follow the logic with me here. Um, the Capitol building in Missouri is in Jefferson City. The Capitol building in in uh, Maryland is in Annapolis. The Capitol building in Kansas is in Topeka. Um, that's because those are their capitals. Well, I guess same with Riyadh. There's, there's, same there's, with there's a ca- you know there's a uh, Capitol building in Philadelphia. I guess it's a Capitol building. I think it was the old. Ca- uh, it was the no. Well, that was the original capital of the United States. Yeah, in Philadelphia. Yeah, I think that was the original. Th- but that was Independence Hall. No, we have two. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, but that was the Capitol building. Yeah, that's where the yeah, government yeah, yeah, yeah. was run out of. But it's that's a museum now. Um, I mean, as far as I understand, I, I've never actually been there. Um, I have, but it was so long ago. I don't really remember. But I think it's. Um, I remember it more from movies. <laughs> right from National Treasure. Yeah, that's exactly what I was. <laughs> yes, but like I'm watching that movie, I was like, "Hey, I remember being in there," and I was like, "Oh, we weren't allowed up Wait, there." Wait, how many days ago did you watch it? Oh, a while ago. Uh, uh, I've watched it several times, not recently. Me neither. <laughs> did you just just watch it this morning or something? <laughs> no, I went to work at seven at eight thirty in the morning. It was yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it was this past week though. Um. Yeah. Huh. Um. July eighth. What's happening? So what? In July? I was just, you know what I was just gonna go back <laughs> to that. What are you? Yeah. Do, what are you doing? July eighth. I'm busy that day. I got something to do. Oh, uh, me too. Probably me gonna too. take the day off work. Probably. Yeah. At I least need, a half day. I need to wear black. Yeah. It's gonna be. It's hot gonna be out. a dark day. It's gonna be fucking hot out. It is gonna be very hot out. Yeah. Um. I'm gonna go see Ozzy. Did you check the weather? Uh, wait, let me check the weather. Bleep, bleep. It says fucking hot. <laughs> <laughs> did, did you ever? I I I liked sharing that when um when it was hot. Uh, but there was that picture, like a well, like a weather app picture, and it just has like two, con- uh, sa- like offset but somewhat concentric circles, like just just a little bit offset. Um. And below it, it says balls. It's <laughs> hot as balls. <laughs> no, I, I didn't see that. Uh, it's amazing. I just remember. I, I think, will send I think it, it to you like, when uh, it is hot as balls. I think it was on the uh, Haaretz website or something. Oh, it, it like, hot it, as when balls. it comes when it came to summertime, it would just said like hot. It would just like stretch across the week. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> you know it gets hot in July. Hellfire stretching across the. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, it gets it gets hot here. It's. Still kind of warm some days. Um, T- today it was it was it was fucking dark out. There was no sun. I go outside. I got a jacket on. Five minutes later, it's like eighty something degrees out. <laughs> I'm walking around without a ja- with a jacket on. 
It's um it's quite annoying. It's great on the bike. When the hell is winter? Um September 21st? No. September 21st, it's still like 85, 89 degrees out during the day. Oh, yeah. No, it's not winter here. I forgot. So I have I this. W- 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 no, you were you were saying, just speaking of um, of the weather changing, I have this stuff, this tea, and and I, I really haven't been putting too much effort into it. Um, but one of my roommates left it here, I think. And it's honey. I I only know this because it says I believe there are talked, two. Hold on. I believe we four, have talked about this tea. Six, this tea in a previous eight, podcast. 10, 11, and or twelve, thirteen in a Facebook video. Maybe. Everyone but I want to talk about, about this more. Everyone. Everyone. We can we can count everyone on on. Every, one finger. Everyone who's listening <laughs> now has already heard about the um, tea. <laughs> no, but I, I've I've been I've been approaching more more and more people to try and figure out what this stuff is. There's 13 words. One of them is even is just a, a an abbreviation for gram. Was your roommate ever uh, in, in Dahab or I- ever in Sinai? It looks like something that you would get in Dahab. Yeah, he probably had the shits and got a couple of those and um, had one left and brought it back. No, he had four. Uh, well, there were there were four here, and I've finished three of them. Um, but it's 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 ginger, honey, you and know, sugar. You can and take you can take a picture like, of it and put it into uh, no, the can't. Google Translate. No, you can't. And it'll translate. No, it. you can't. Why not? It won't read Arabic. Really? Yeah, I thought it did. That's odd, right? Uh, like a, a language that's Shocking. spoken by like a billion people, you would think that there would have there would be a billion people, a billion people, a billion people, a, billion. a milliard of people. I don't understand that because trillion is trillion. A For trillion is, is probably a quadrillion. Like I don't, I don't think, but milliard, yeah, like a I, mallard I duck. Get that. Aussie's coming here. Oz, the Aussies are coming here. The Osmonds, <laughs> Donny Osmond. <laughs> We're gonna go see the Osmond Yay, family. Yay! The Osmonds are coming. <laughs> Donny and Marie. Marie, that's right. I saw Donny Osmond <laughs> in uh, in Kansas City and Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. Moving on. <laughs> Look, the only. You, you know that <laughs> yeah. The, the only thing I can think of that would be worse than that would be going to a Morrissey concert, <laughs> and unfortunately, I, I've done that. Oh, you went to Morrissey? That's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Before, uh, when I was still a single man, I was forced into it by you were a, hopeful. a a a young lady forced me to go to a Morrissey concert. Although at the time, although I was pretty sure did I did it not swoon her. Although. All th- no, she got quite pissed at me because I was like, Boo. <laughs> all, all, although at the time I had heard of Morrissey, I didn't know any of his songs or anything that he did. And do you understand why? And after the show, I was definitely a big uh, hater of Morrissey. Um, <laughs> it was I, definitely I, the least favorite concert I have ever been to. Um, I, I was never really into that. Like, okay, there was, I think there was, an Elliot Smith, Elliot Smith, Elliot, uh, Elliot really. Gould, Gould? <laughs> yes, an Elliot Gould song. I think he actually is a musician. I heard that somewhere. I think I read it on Wikipedia. Like he played something. In he may or may not. He played the French music. horn in <laughs> in high school. <laughs> um, no, uh, Elliot Elliot Smith. I don't know. One of those guys. Uh, one of those very yeah, depressing okay, someone guys. you don't know. Did but something. the Smiths, I never liked. Morrissey, I, I understand it's the same guy or something. I don't know. I never liked him. Yeah. But what I do like is that despite the pressure from BDS, they still came to Israel. And I commend... Well, you know, there, there, there's a lot of the stuff about the BDS in the news, but uh, but since BDS has started, uh, well, I don't know when it was founded or anything else, but I guess since it's really been in the news, I found that more bands are actually coming to Israel. 
Yeah. You know, 10 years ago, it was very rare that a big band would come. You know, you get a Metallica, and then a couple years later, maybe someone else would, you know, big would. But it was very rare to get, you know, a big name act in Israel. But in the last couple of years, I mean, uh, I'm trying to think. Like, I've seen Megadeth. I saw Ozfest. That was like eight years ago, I guess, seven years ago. Uh, yeah. Metallica. I had tickets to that. <laughs> uh, so I saw Seinfeld when he was here. Chris Rock is coming. Um, oh yeah. Jim Jeffries. Jim Jeffries was here and he's coming again. Um, what's his name? The guy that jerks off a lot. Wasn't he here too? PB Herman. No, <laughs> the other guy that jerks <laughs> off. Uh, no, the new guy um, that jerks you? off. What's his I name? Um, a Mexican guy. Mexican Jewish comedian guy. Um, Jesus. That was no. That was like got in trouble for like. Because Jesus off. was a Jew. He, he, he took his clothes off and jerked off in front Jew. of a bunch of uh, women. Oh, come on, you know who I'm talking about. The comedian guy. He's big famous. Does that that show yeah. with his name? <laughs> yeah. Uh, J- uh, Louis. Oh, Louis. Louis. Is he still coming to Israel? I think he was here. Ah, that's right. He was. Yeah, yeah, he was here. Well, I was here. He was here. Yeah, I don't think he's coming back. I don't um, think he's doing not. much touring he's right now. Probably not. Probably but like Paul Simon, I mean, it makes sense that Paul Simon was here. But like, system of a down will never come to Israel. But that's different. That's like they're they're Armenians they're, and they they're go Muslim. To, no, I don't think they're Muslim, but they're Armenian and they side with the Lebanese people. Because there's a very, very, they're Lebanese, uh, well, Armenian. Even though I've seen them before. Lebanese Fuck Armenians. Um, I actually like them. But but they won't come for different reasons. Um, well, the same reason. No, they're not pressured by, by BDS. I think they know it's no, going to hurt their image. No, they won't come because it's Israel Jews. I, I think they, know, they, they feel that it's going to hurt their image, which I think is, is a reason why some of these other people, like, you know, just reading and, and remembering random stories um, like like uh, who is it? Um, uh, Annie Lennox who? was. Annie Lennox. Who? Annie Lennox. Who? I think it's whom. <laughs> no, whom? it is not. It is not whom. Um, what? What? <laughs> uh, Annie Lennox. Um, no, from the Eurythmics. We dreams all made of oh, all right. Um So, uh, but but that's weird because her her she was married to a Jewish guy, I think, and now she's married to a Muslim guy. I don't know what their what their politics are, but whatever the case, I don't know. Um, Pixies, CeeLo, the the. That make me crazy. Yeah, yeah. Um, sure. and so and some other people. I, I, but I don't know if it's that they were supporting BDS. They were just bending, uh, uh giving in to the pressure. You know, or what happens is a lot of these groups. You know, they usually uh, uh, when they cancel, they usually have. Oh, we had a scheduling mix up, or there was, you know, some type of um logistic constraints or some shit. But it was like, wait a minute. You 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 set up a tour. All these things should have been arranged months in it. You know what kind of bullshit? Oh, we had a conflict in our. T- what do you mean you had a conflict in your t- a scheduling con? I I I, th- yeah. I think most of these are just excuses because they don't want to say. Well, Slipknot. I'm bending to pressure. Slipknot said there was a family emergency, and it, it came out that there was like something wrong with one of the one of the guys' kids' legs or something broke their leg. I, 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 too convenient. I don't. I don't know. I just don't. I just don't buy it. I don't. Well, know. look. I, I. I like Slipknot, so I'm going to say that sometimes things do happen, and you know, tour dates uh, do get canceled. I have been to Ozfest where Ozzy didn't show up because he was uh, sick. You know, I mean, sometimes shows do get you know that canceled for legitimate reasons. I'm not necessarily saying that it, this was a legitimate reason that they canceled, but uh, it, it could be. Now, could be, me- meanwhile, like, you know, Elvis Costello or a uh, Annie Lennox or whatever, <laughs> um, you know, fuck them. They're 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 no good. It's just it's just weird that she was married to a to a Jew and now she's married to an Arab. And, and I know more she came here, but fucking Israel. 
<laughs> does he does she hate Israel because of that or was it legitimate? Their, their marriage was so bad. She said, "Fuck all the Jews." Uh, the entire race. <laughs> um, she said, "Well, the Muslims hate the Jews the most, so I'm going with one of them." Oh, I love that song. Um, that uh, fucking Roger Waters um, sang. That that really that really. I don't know the name of that song. Oh, I don't. It doesn't matter. Don't ever, don't ever look for it. But it's the and the Jews. How hit the, will I know kill, what the not Arabs to look and the for? Arabs hit the Jews. Don't look up those words. That those those lyrics I just sang. In the Ar- um, don't look up. Yes, people. Here, if you're listening to this, don't ever look up. If and the Jews hit the Arabs and the Arabs hit the Jews, or that's what I think you said. Yeah, yeah. Don't look that up. Those are those are lyrics to some song by Roger Waters that is just. Like, I, don't, I don't think those were the actual words, though. They were the actual words. I, I do not think so. They were the actual words. I don't think they were. They were the actual words. I think it was the Jews killed the Palestinians, or the Jews killed no. the Arabs, and the Arabs killed the hostages. I don't think it was the Jews killed the Palestinians, the Arabs, and the Arabs killed the Jews, and the Jews killed the, or whatever it was that you said. It was. It wasn't. Um, this is nevertheless, check. Yeah, that's 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 fine. Um. I'm actually looking it up right now. I know you are. I can see that. I know you can. Um, what was it? Oh, and the Jews hit the Arabs. Um, okay. Anyway, while that's while that's searching through the uh, through the internet machine, um, perfect sense. Perfect sense. I thought you were going to tell people what to su- what to, uh, what it was called. Oh, you you were you uh, you wanted to to know what the lyrics were. So oh no um, no no, I know what the lyrics were. I was just saying that what you were quoting was wrong. And the Germans killed the Jews, and the Jews killed the Arabs, and the Arabs killed the hostages. Uh, the hostages. Exact opposite of what you said. Oh, I said, the, no, I said the Jews the Jews hit the Arabs, and, and then you the said the Arabs, Arabs hit the, the Jews. Jews. Um, nevertheless, just. An absolutely literate, li- ludicrous song, and I, I, I the first wait, time wait, wait, I ever heard this. By Roger Waters or by Ludacris? I think it's by Luda. No, by Roger Waters. Ah, uh, all right. <laughs> um, Why'd you call it a ludicrous song? Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> um, I first heard that when uh, Roger Waters was in Israel. Mm-hmm. And I heard the concert live, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and this song came on, mm-hmm. and I just I didn't I didn't really know what to what to think. Like, because first of all, it's a stupid like the the lyrics don't. There's no harmony. There's no rhythm. There's no cadence. There's no sense to the song. It's just it's just a piece. To express his his disdain, his hatred, whatever it is, um, it's just a terrible song. So don't and, listen and, to and, it. And how did it make you feel? Gleeful. No, the other thing. <laughs> um, but um, you know, uh, listen. I, I, the, uh, long story short, too late. Sorry. Anyway. Um, <laughs> So to make a no. short story long, what were you saying? Um, I have no idea. No, to to <laughs> to, to shorten the story, um, all of these all of these bands that are that are that are breaking through or breaking past the pressure from BDS, I give I give hats off to Les oh, yeah. Claypool. Look, there have been a Jethro, lot of Jethro fucking tall man. There have been a lot of bands that was a in big recent one years. For me. Uh, what's his name? The gay guy, uh, Elton John. <laughs> I mean, I'm never gonna go see him, but God bless, man. Uh, wh- what's his name? Uh, th- with the with the with the Canadian kid with the weird haircut, wasn't he here? Canadian uh, kid with a weird haircut. Yeah, uh, Justin Bieber. I think oh, he I was here recently. I Maybe. think he was here like this summer or something like that. Uh, a lot of people, now, a lot of bands that I hate and would never listen to or anything else, or would jump out of my car at, at ninety miles an hour rather than listen to on the radio. No, uh, no, uh, no, have come to Israel, and I say props to them all. Even now, though I would never sh- listen to you, I support you th- just for. Pushing past those bullies, and that's all they are—they're being bullies. 
<laughs> like, we think this is bad, and if you don't agree with us and you do this thing, we're going to punish you. That's all they're doing. Well, they need to be explained why it's actually not bad, why what they're seeing is not actually real. Because they think that Israel is just being evil to these people. Evil. The, the, I mean, we can go on and on about, uh, over and over again on the same on the same subject. Um, but I think anybody who really does look into what's going on, they understand that they're being oppressed by their government, and you know, it obviously helps to. Are you saying that the, those who are uh, the uh, woke? You know, I hate this new this uh, a lot of these new words. Um, that word really, um, it has something to it because it like, it's very descriptive. It's, it's very relevant. Like you are awake, you are fucking aware of what's going on. So woke actually works when used right. No, it doesn't. Work. It, it, are, it doesn't work because people, because if if two people agree with each other, they'll say you're, you're woke, and if you don't disagree with them, you're just not woke. No, if just it's because used they properly, have, have a disagree, uh, a dissenting opinion. No, no. If it's used properly, then it's fine. And by properly, I mean you know. Yeah, that if you, you agree, agree with, with me. me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I get that. That's what that's uh, what being woke is. If you agree with me, you're woke. If you disagree with me, you're you're a blithering idiot who's clearly still asleep. Yep. That's that's the world we live in today. You're not allowed to have a you're not allowed to have a different you're allowed to have a different opinion, but it makes you a fucking idiot for having a different opinion. Well, you are. Clearly. Cuz I say you're a fool. I know fool. Oh, you're a fool. That was amazing, though, yeah. to see no, Jethro Tull in in, uh, in Israel. I would agree, but I didn't see him. Uh, you would, you would agree. Oh well, if you if had you I had gone, I would probably agree that it would, it would be crazy to see them. Mm. I didn't see them, um, so no, I, it wasn't crazy. Well, I have a, I have a story about Jethro. It wasn't Jethro crazy Tull. to not see them in Israel. I I actually have a story about Jethro Tull. Uh. So so I studied photography for for two years, and. In my second year, uh, we were in a studio studio photography course, and this was all on um, uh, this is film, film and gelatin silver prints, you know, photo paper basically. Um, but in the sure, sure. in the st- in the studio photography course, we actually used paper, and it's a much different uh, it's a much different process. So it's it's. It's very intensive, and it really is an art form, like, to get it down just right. And it was a lot of fun to do. Um, but we, the project, okay, was using this paper, but th- what we were printing was um, other people's negatives. So my dad is a photographer, and he had, uh, at some point, somehow gotten a press pass from a friend of his and very nice camera equipment. This is back in 72, 73, something like that. Um, And he went to a couple of concerts and shot pictures. He shot pictures of, uh, of the stones and he had, he had a, I don't even know what it was. 700 millimeter lens, like a, like a press lens, like a national geographic uh, nature lens. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Um, Nevertheless, I think he was very close to the to the front. Uh-huh. And so I got to spend like three months working on pictures, like close up pictures of the stones that had never been seen, um, developing them for the first time. The, the negatives were already ready, but there were no prints off of them. So I got to print these pictures of the stones and Jethro Tull. So like. To actually, like, you know, to have spent three months working on these pictures and then actually get to go see them. That was a lot of fun. It was very cool, like, to, you know, because the pictures were taken before I was born. So I actually ended up getting to see And the them. concert was after you were born. The concert was when you after went I was born. Um, so it's, like, a, a, a difference of, like, milliseconds. Wow. Or more. It's amazing. Um, 
So not only is it awesome that he that he came to Israel, but uh-huh. that I that I got to see him. That was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but I, yeah, if if mm-hmm. if you're not coming to Israel because of what, uh, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Look, uh, it, it <coughs> this just goes back to marketing. You know, this, we, this don't, we don't we don't argue boycott, against it, BDS. This whole boycott like, we don't uh, I- Israel thing is it, a whole bunch. Of, this BDS, it, it's a scam. Okay, it's people it's, it's a bunch of people. It, though. It's a bunch of people that they got together and said, "How the hell can we make more people hate Israel?" Okay, and they did it in the guise of trying to care for Palestine, make it look like you know, oh, we we care about the Palestinians and they're being hurt and they're being and they're this is a bibbidi boo boo. Okay, this is fucking bibbidi crap. It's bullshit. All right, because and and here's why you know it's bullshit. They say that, you know, we're taking their lands and we're making factories, whatever, and you shouldn't buy these things, okay? But the funny thing is, is that a lot of these factories employ Palestinian workers. (laughs) Oh, that's the funniest thing. So BDS is having you boycott these companies that employ Palestinians. So what's going to happen? What happens? Yeah. Okay, well... Production goes down, you know, sales drop, production goes down, and, well, who, who are they going to fire? They're going to probably, not necessarily, but some Palestinians, at least, are going to become unemployed. So what BDS does is it helps raise the uh, Palestinian unemployment, okay, which then uh, puts more, uh, helps uh, fuel the fire of hatred, okay, against Israel. It's just another way to keep the Palestinians uh, angry, okay? And at the same time, yeah, helping true. to dr- really helping to get more people behind their cause uh, in the West. In the long that's run, all yeah, it is. It's just it's and doing the per- more bad the, than The good. perfect example is SodaStream, okay? They've had an ad in the Super Bowl. Everybody has heard about them. Uh, SodaStream started off in the West Bank, okay? Um, half of their workforce was Palestinians. Okay, uh, they had Palestinians in management. Okay, and it's not like uh, they had pa- Palestinian uh, shift leaders. Okay, they oversaw Palestinian workers. Workers. Okay, this was a company like every, any other company, and they had managers, and some of them were were Palestinians, and some of them were Jews, and they had people under them, and it it, it was it was true proof that that, that these two groups can actually work. Uh, with each other and Th- get along. This is a side okay? of the world that people don't see, though. People don't see this. No, of course not, because BDS wouldn't say, wouldn't, wouldn't spread this. Nobody would spread this. What it's only to good exp- to say you can't buy these products because they're sold in in the West Bank. You should uh, boycott anything to do with Bal Raffaele because she does a commercial and advertises for SodaStream. So what happened? SodaStream had to leave the West Bank and move uh, onto the other side of the Green Line into Israel. Okay, but um, to, but for the Palestinian workers to continue to work there, they had to get working permits yeah, in Israel, sense. and they had to drive so much further because it's it you know they they found a piece of land where they could build a factory, and it wasn't uh, necessarily close to one of the crossings or anything else. Um, so and and, and in the end, what happened is after uh, um like, like six months or so, Israel stopped giving working uh, permits. Uh, to the Palestinian workers, look, we we you know we we got uh, other Isra- we got Israel Israelis you know the the co- the company is in Israel we got Israelis that are uh, unemployed why not let them have the jobs why do we have to bring in the uh, Palestinian workers? It was one thing when it was in the West Bank and everything and they were right there and it was a good it was a source of employment, but, uh, but why does Israel have to allow them give them permits to come into the country? There were a lot of other details and everything else that I'm leaving out about uh, about this. So, essentially, what BDS did was it caused uh, a couple of hundred Palestinians' families that had pension, that had good salaries, uh, 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 pension funds, um, you know, that that had like real way to 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 uh, uh, take care of their family, to mm-hmm. put food on the table, to save money. Okay, they, they had real lives and a future and everything else. And BDS helped uh, put them on uh, unemployment and welfare. 
you know, hey, go BDS. You really helped the Palestinians, right? Because that was your stated cause. That's why you're doing this, right? To help the Palestinians. Well, I guess these yeah, were just they, some of the 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 ungrateful Palestinians that you helped out. Good well, job, it's, guys. It's just as just as broadsided as as the rest of well, most of the rest of the things that they do. Um, you know, these uh, whether it's whether it's um. Uh, BDS or some other some other uh, rights activism, uh, some some other activism group. Um, they don't really they don't really do things that that work to their advantage in a lot of ways. Um, but nevertheless, I I don't know. It's it's they're not they're not seeing the bigger picture they're not seeing that this ex- they're de- they're being duped by this 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 greed this this yeah, grab I, for power by the Palestinian leadership they I, want the power they want the support of of the other countries which they're not really getting to a such a de- uh, such a great degree but they they want power and how do you get power you uh you say how wonderful you are and how terrible the other people are i'm 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 going to i'm going to put B, i'm i'm going to describe bds in a way that i think you're going to like you you're going to like they're a marketing group okay and they're marketing the palestinian side where have i heard that before <laughs> and 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 that's it they they are mar- they are pushing the the palestinian uh uh uh, uh um how do you beat a marketer with a baseball bat, with better marketing. Oh, oh I was gonna say you can we hit don't him with a do base- shit. You can hit him with a baseball bat. We don't way. do jack shit, and it's pissing me off. We don't do fucking anything. They say how horrible Israel are, is. They say that we're an apartheid state. Do you know what an apartheid state is? An apartheid state would not ever have the 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 uh, oppressed. Uh, um, uh, people mm-hmm. in mm-hmm. power in any level. We have Palestinians in in the Knesset. We have Arabs in the Knesset. We have Arabs on our police squad. We have Druze soldiers in our military. We have we, we have, have no, wait, wait. Not only do we have Palestinians in in our uh, uh, like Jesus uh, in, Christ in, in, in the Israel Knesset needs in, to in our parliament their game. In, in our government we have. Palestinians that are admitted anti-Israel. They are admittedly anti-Israel. They don't yeah. hide it. And yet, we had this conversation they got enough votes, ones. so they got seats in the Knesset. Exactly. We had this conversation That's before. That's a side so, for you. So we, we don't really need to, uh, to harp on it so much. But yeah, this is, this is ridiculous. People don't know this, though. People d- are not informed of this. Well... That's why we're putting it out there. That's why we're putting it out there. Here it is, people. Israel good. I want to put it out there. Palestinians bad. There's a Facebook group. There's a Facebook group. What is it called? Something like Israel Advocacy Group or something. There's a group that's fighting against the um, this unfairness in the media. Um, I, I I don't know. Well, I, I there's no doubt called. that there's a, a clear bi- anti-Israel bias in the in the general media. There is the bias, but we don't fight against it. We don't do anything to counter it. We don't say no. This is this this is the deal. We have this member of Knesset. We have this member of Knesset. We have Jews in our military. We have uh, we have uh, uh, Arabs in our in our police department. We have Arabs working alongside us in our in our factories, in our shops, in our offices. We have Arabs managing us. We have, like, nobody says this. So what you're saying is these people just need to be woken. They need to be made woke. <laughs> um, yes, in in the sense that that appeases my interests, being woke to my interests. I see. Um, no, this is... Th- <laughs> We're being pushed into a war by market... by by. By powers who don't, the, uh, we're being pushed into a wars with people who don't feel this way in reality, but are just being pushed towards it on both sides. To more degree on one of those sides, but 
Um, on both sides. Well, there's certainly a war coming. I. Yep, yep, yep. I smell war. Yep. Or I smell something, but yeah, I think that's war. It's uh, burning potassium sulfide. What is it? Potassium gunpowder. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it smells uh, like. Um, I mean, I've been saying it for years, and it's and it's still not happened. But like, it's it's just you know us nudging each other back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and just just pissing us off, each other off a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. I I I said this uh, when I was a little kid. Um, I was I was doing this with my brother. I was just like screwing with him, just like pushing his pushing his arm or like you know messing with a messing with his arm or his hand or whatever it was. I don't even remember. Um, and it built up so much uh, that he that he hit me, smacked me, punched me. I don't remember what it was. And I ran into the house and uh, to my mom. I was like five, four, five, something, six. I don't know. Um, and I yelled to my mom. Uh, <laughs> Andy hit me back. <laughs> Andy hit me back. And damn him for doing it. <laughs> like, like without any backstory. Okay, yeah, it's, like yeah, he had me harder. I, I was pissing him off. Like I was a little shit, you know. Um, but uh, I have no <laughs> problem believing that. But just, 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 <laughs> just wording, just the the wording, and out of context, it, it's hilarious, and it's still hilarious even in context. But. Um, that's kind of what's happening now. We're just nudging each other until one person, one party, one side just snaps. And when one side snaps, everybody's joining on the bandwagon. The whole it's the whole world. Everybody's picking the, sides. The prob- there's the there's a huge t- pool today on. with 24-hour media and social me- you know, 24-hour news stations and social media and everyone in the world even in like the fucking deepest dark cave in the middle of fucking whatever the hell stan everyone's got like twitter and wi-fi uh, um it's almost impossible to have a war today and not be susceptible as a country to the pressure and that's what happens okay in the war in, in the second world uh, in the second world war in the second war with lebanon okay in the gaza war uh, um the only the reasons why we stopped was 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 pretty much uh, uh, pressure from the rest of the world. I learned that we won okay? in Vietnam. The fact of the ma- the fact is the, the truth is. <laughs> all right, you know what? Uh, you know what? The, the, no, because what I'm going to say is isn't isn't necess- isn't true either. What I want to say is, is that we need this war needs to be won. Okay, this country uh, uh, elected. Uh, Netanyahu and keeps electing Net- Netanyahu because he's seen as a strong leader. He's seen as someone that will be tough on on, on Palestinians and everything else. But oh, the fact of the matter the economy, is, the yeah. last couple of wars that that have been run under his leadership, okay, he we didn't win. We 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 elected this guy who we thought was strong and would fight and everything else. And, yeah, and in the end, he bends to he bends to pressure, and, and 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 nobody goes anywhere. So a bunch of people were killed. And we've gained uh, nothing, and the Palestinians gain nothing. In, in instead of allowing us to, like World War Two, to win the war, and which needs which 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 is what I want to say needs to be done. But the truth of the matter is, I don't think there is any winning this war. I don't think there is any military solution to this, except for uh, genocide. Okay, you kill. You kill or they kill all of one side. Yes. Then I think what this is, is the no rest of the world going to What is the rest of the world going to do? They won't care. This is no I'm, I'm, well, no. The world I'm not that, saying no, 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 no. that was no, on one I, of those I, I'm sides. I'm not or saying the other. No, I'm I'm not saying I'm look, I'm not saying that there should be a genocide and that this is the you know this is what we should do or anything else. I'm saying that that's the only solution the, that I do not ever see this coming to an end. I do not see a solution. Yeah, you have I to do stop not the power above. I do not see an agreement ever being made. I do not see... Uh, Ousting uh, the existing power. I do not see there ever being peace. I just Ousting don't see it ever existing happening. existing power. Sure, you can keep saying something. And I'm going to keep saying something, too. I don't think that there will ever be peace with the Palestinians. It's not that I don't want it. I just don't believe it will ever happen. I think it definitely can happen. But then again, I thought there was too much racism in the United States and they would never vote for a black man. I was wrong. So maybe I'm wrong. 
Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, I'd like to be wrong. I'd like there to be peace. I'd like it for when my daughter grows up, she doesn't have to go into the army because we no longer need to have uh, uh, such a large uh, citizen army. That'd be great. But I don't think that's the reality. Not really. Um, not I, right now. I, I think that there's going to continue to be these uh, small little skirmishes. Uh, Hamas here and is, is, is Islamic Jihad there and ISIS here and, and Hezbollah there and Syria. I think these skirmishes are going to continue little by little. And eventually, <coughs> eventually, I think these groups are going to learn how to uh, 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 play nicely with each other. And once they feel that they're strong enough and they can, you know, I, 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 I believe if they could take us on from all three sides. Uh, together, working as a proper one military force, I, 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 I think it would be uh, a hell of a lot uh, harder than anything we fought uh, in the past. Yeah, but and now a lot of these groups, the are, hard and now way. a lot of these groups All are getting uh, battle way, hardened, uh, fighting ISIS in their own country. There's such an easier way of doing this, of getting this taken care of, of ending this entire thing. Oust the power. They're being taught to do this. They're being they they're being convinced to do this. They're being they have a an entire system, an entire structure. Okay, you keep saying educating. oust the power. What do you mean by oust the power? What do you mean? Describe it. Explain it. Don't just say the, it's the, a the, word. The, the, Explain the, it. The leaders of of the Palestinian Authority. Mm-hmm. What about the do, pal- what about the leaders of Israel? Yeah. You think they're so likely and so willing to make peace with the Palestinians? A prime minister that has said, there will be no peace while I am prime minister. So kill all their people or kill him? No, I'm saying, I, I, you should we oust him from power? I didn't say kill. I said, you said oust from the, the powers. Uh, so you said we should oust the Palestinian leadership. But what about the Israeli leadership? They're guilty of a lot of shit, too. Yeah, we're all guilty of a lot of shit. I'm not guilty of a lot of shit. Guilty of some shit. Yeah, some shit. <laughs> guilty of needing to take a shit. Ooh. Is it that time? No. No, no, it's not. Um, but um, I don't know. I don't know. It hey. seems. It seems that. Uh, that uh, it, it, it's there. There's an easier solution than than killing the entire race of people because I don't think there's, there's any no easy en- solution. I don't think there's anything in this that is going to be explained in the future as an easy solution. No, none of them are going to be easy. Well, but you said mass easy genocide, killing an entire race of people. There are other people who support those people. They're just gonna just they're just you know stand by and watch that happen. No world war. Like this is this is. I don't think it would be a world war. North Korea is itching. North Korea is itching to do something. Russia's itching to do something. Everybody's everybody's got their finger on the on the on the trigger just waiting waiting for something to happen so they so they can all get involved. Trump I don't started talking big, so North Korea started talking bigger. North Korea started talking big, and Trump started talking I'm talking big. for, the, for hey. the past 12 years, hey. before Trump was even a concept. Nah. I th- this has been going on for way too long. North Korea likes to Everybody's, talk. Everybody, everybody likes to talk until action starts. When the action starts, then I think everybody's going to want to get involved. Anyway. Last, last words? No. <laughs> I, I was trying to think of something. I was like, say something, say something. Something, something. Um, no, we don't do that anymore. No, that's not uh, That's not a thing anymore. No. Um, okay, my, my last word is... Uh, uma Plata. My last word is close.